Welcome back. Now let's take a look at how we can actually implement our model that we created and trained in the previous lecture. In this lecture, moving forward, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new app and then use our AI model that we created earlier. Perfect. So before I actually create a new app, let's navigate to our AI builder and then models just to make sure that we have what we've created last time. So here's our class form because we created a model that's gonna take the form and then extract the fields. And then we trained this particular model form processing so that we can use it to test with a new invoice, okay, PDF invoice. Great, so let's navigate to app. We can actually do it right from here. So if I were to open up models, it's gonna open up this model and then there's a button called use model, which will be displayed right here. Perfect, so I can do it directly from here. So if I were to click on use model, automatically brings up the way I want to use it, whether it's new app or new flow. I could also navigate to the left explorer here and then choose apps and then create new app either way. So let's go ahead and click on new app. This is going to open up a new tab. And then once the new tab is open, it is going to let me know that I'm using the playdesk-ai environment. That's the environment I'll be using create the new app. It says right here, creating an app dash ai So once done loading, it's going to give me an option, type of app I'd like to create. And it also lets me know that this is a premium component. So anyone using an app containing this component will need an AI builder license. Okay, so they need to have an AI builder, with, whether it's a trial or a regular license. So let's click on it. So let's skip this part. Here we are. So from within the new app, notice it automatically displays the actual form builder for me, or this is the actual model that I've used. If I do not have this, I can always insert it myself as well. So on my first screen, I have the form processor. So if I make this a little bigger, so you can see that this is our actual AI model. So of course it says analyze, right? The purpose of this model is that this model has been trained to analyze four fields, and that's what we did in the previous lecture. So if I were to play, right, or preview this app and click on Analyze, this will open up a Windows Explorer for me. Perfect. So from here, I can navigate to the Invoices folder and then the Test folder. So this is the invoice that will be testing it, okay? So the AI builder is going to extract all the four fields from this particular invoice that we've actually trained this model to do so. So I'm going to select this, click Open. And this is going to insert the PDF invoice within our app, analyze it, and then perfect. Here are the four fields. If I make this a little bigger, so here's the from, bill to, invoice number, and then the bell. So the analysis is formed four fields and zero tables tech field from field invoice. So no matter how many invoices I bring in to this AI builder, it's going to do the same. Great. And that's what the application is meant to do, basically. Close this, click OK, and perfect, here we are. So if I make this bigger, here are the fields. And it also gives you, you know, 53%, which is the confidence that it found the from, build to, and then 100% invoice number. And then if I scroll down, 100% battle. Perfect. And of course, this is an app, right? So. On my screen one, I can have the model. On my screen two, I can have other fields. And you've been working with this so far and you will be working with additional properties and apps or creating multiple apps with different data sources. So you'll get a solid understanding of how Power App work, right? So you don't need to know any coding, perhaps. Just, you know, basic Excel formulas if you come to those, pretty good. If you need to save this app, just go to File, Settings, give it a name. I'm going to call it Playdesk AI Forms Processing. Just give it an icon, for example, choose a color, and then click on Save. This is going to go ahead and save to Power Apps. Now you could save it to the cloud, or you can save it to your computer as well. So if you need to download this particular app and save it onto your own computer, you could do so. And once I saved it to the cloud, of course, either share this app or see all the back so i hope this helps just wanted to demonstrate 
how to use the Power App AI Builder, create a model from scratch. We use the forms processing, and there are others as well. Okay, business card reader, form processor, that's the one that we used. I demonstrated this end to end, object detector, and then text recognizer. Okay, so go ahead as a homework, as a challenge, try to first, of course, practice with the forms processor, and then go ahead take up another challenge. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. I'd be happy to help with this. Let's move to the next lesson.